I want to take a moment and introduce you guys to a new compiler we've developed at Azul called Falcon. Uh, so Falcon is a bytecode compiler. Uh, sort of, it is uh, compiling Java bytecode down to our primary target, which is x86. Uh, I want to mention, when I say new here, what I actually mean is new in the product, as in this is shipping today and available in the commercial product, not new as an under development. Our eventual goal with this project is to, in fact, completely replace the C2 compiler in our VM uh, for two major reasons. One is performance. The other is sort of uh, the ability to iterate quickly and experiment with different ideas. And sort of to sort of facilitate that last piece, we built this compiler around the LLVM toolchain. A couple of things to note just for this audience in particular is we've upstreamed a lot of the infrastructure work we did to make this possible. Uh, so if you have other sort of languages that might be interested in targeting LLVM, as a good example, the GC support has been dramatically improved. The other thing to sort of mention is we have this comp the compiler tool chain that we use within Falcon packaged and available for separate reuse if that was something that was interesting to anybody in the language development perspective. So I figured this is probably the slide that most of you are most curious about, which is current performance. The overall positioning here is that sort of the looking at sort of a geo mean across various benchmarks, we are pretty much on par or slightly ahead of Oracle today, uh, C2 today. Actually, sorry, this is against OpenJDK, I believe. Oh, no, I did say Oracle. Uh, what you'll notice, though, is there is a lot of variation. Uh, there are some benchmarks that we do very well on, some benchmarks we're still working on, and we have a lot of room sort of for improvement in some of these moving forward. But the overall picture is quite positive. Uh, the point of comparison here is the current shipping product that was released a couple of weeks ago against Oracle uh, 8U21, random build happened to have sitting around, with a 12 gig, gig heap, basically so that the GCs were more or less idle. Uh, one interesting point here is this is, Oracle is running with a Stop the World collector, we're running with a fully concurrent collector in this example. Uh, the benchmark configuration was basically just to torture the compiler to get the rest of the system out of the way as much as possible. So since I don't have a lot of time, I want to focus on just some cool observations about the project, sort of highlight a few things for you guys that have been exciting to me. The first one I want to mention is something that's not directly related to the compiler, but is more about the runtime and the integration with the compiler, which is an optimization we were able to recently implement called Truly Final. As I'm sure many people here are aware, uh, instance finals in Java are not actually final. They are, in fact, written to quite frequently via reflection and all of the other dirty hacks that we all hate. Truly Final is a speculative optimization in the VM that treats an instance final as actually being a constant until it is observed being written to violating that's the sort of expected semantics using the optimization all the related pieces. We tried implementing this in C2. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, we were able to implement it rather quickly in Falcon and that was sort of one of the proof points for us that the idea had actually worked out as we had hoped. The other sort of really cool thing I wanna highlight here is that by moving to an LLVM-based approach, we're leveraging a very large developer community. A couple of, this is interesting in a couple of different ways. The first is merely tracking new developments in the hardware uh, and sort of the work done to support those. One recent thing that happened was that Google now has the Skylake X chips available in Google uh, Cloud Engine. Within about a week and a half of what was that? One minute? Okay, good. Uh, we didn't know about this in advance. Within about a week of that being true, we were able to show the AVX 512 code running in practice on Google Cloud Engine, which is pretty cool to see. The other point I want to highlight here is this means that you can now, in Java, write code that will get you exactly the same performance it would have gotten you if fed through Clang, which is a C++ compiler. That by itself is really quite awesome in my view. It's one of the things that excites me the most about this. Other thing I want to highlight for you is that LLVM is actually an extremely welcoming community in terms of accepting patches. If you have some workload that you would like to performance tune and sort of you want to share those patches with the upstream community, we integrate patches from LLVM about four times a week. 
and that will roll into our next shipping release. So it's a great, and all of the tooling to analyze IR, all of those things is actually available in the shipping product today. Uh, I think I'm short, of short on time, so I'll skip over this quickly. Uh, this is just the broader context of how this fits within the Azul product. You're used to us being here talking about latency. This is looking at the median and the mean latencies as opposed to the tail latencies. Uh, I guess I, so if historically, we have more focused on the extreme, the tail latencies, that's what we're sort of most known for. Uh, this is a little bit of a shift in direction for us, trying to be good at sort of all aspects of latency. And then the other piece we're starting to really take a look at is the rapid startup question, which we've addressed somewhat with the technology that we've been talked about here before called ReadyNow. Uh, but there's sort of much more to come on this, and they'll be talking about this probably next year at JVMLS, if I had to guess. So with that, I think I'm out of time. Any questions?